probably the best thing you could ever do to your sushi is add brain octane to it. Here's how I do it and I'll tell you why in a second. This is the trick. Bottle of brain octane, chopstick. And all you do is you just drizzle the oil on, you let it run down the chopstick like that. When you do this, you immediately taste the rice and the fish and the avocado more than you normally would. This is sockeye salmon on my sushi, the wild caught. And what this does, it acts as a flavor enhancer. So you really, really taste it. And you don't actually need to put soy sauce on your sushi. If you love soy sauce and you feel great, do it. But it causes hives in a lot of people because it has histamine in it. So I use a pinch of sea salt, sprinkle it on there. I've seen thousands of people start liking sushi this way because the oil makes you feel really full. So this lunch is now gonna stick with me for hours and hours. Otherwise, you eat the best sushi on earth, you're hungry two hours later. Well, the secret is brain octane. It changes the flavor and it changes how full you'll feel. What I did here is I had extra omega-3 from the sockeye salmon. Inside this roll, there's some avocado so I get more fat. I asked them to put less rice, and then I have some seaweed. And the seaweed's there because it's full of iodine, and it actually can bind to some toxins. It has something called alginate in it. So this is a perfect kind of lunch. It's low carb, it's not zero carb. It's not gonna keep me in ketosis, but the brain octane is going to provide some ketones. So even after I eat this lunch, if you measure my blood ketones, they'll be above zero, which is cool, and they'll probably still be around 0.5, which is where I wanna be to suppress my hunger.